Today I'm staying at the Brussels Marriott and I'm staying in room 554 and let me show you the corridor for a minute. Um, I checked in um, early today so they were very nice about it and they let me come in you know or on the early side at 10 a.m. which was very nice. As you enter, of course, you always look at the plan and how far or how close I am to um, the exit, which is a great thing because I'm pretty close. Now, first thing when you enter is the bathroom. The room is nice. It's well equipped. It is well organized. It is comfortable. Um, I have to ask if they have connecting rooms because it's definitely n not large enough for more than two people. So this is the bathroom, marbled, um, very nice, elegant, um, light tan, and then with a green countertop, granite. And then they have a combination shower and um, tub. And with a handheld, this is always really very useful for kids. And a nice, this is a nice touch. You can wash your own stuff. Um, this is the um, um, just a wire that you could um, sit and hang your wet clothes on, which is good. So that's um, something that I actually like. And let's see their little kit. They have shampoo, shower gel, conditioner, the usual, from a company called Aka Kappa. So that's an interesting company. Never heard of them, but interesting. Um, hair dryer and um, magnifying mirror. By the way, they, they were very welcoming, very, very nice here. Um, I asked for early check-in. I came from California to Brussels. They were very nice about it. This is their closet. And um, very spacious, has the um, ironing board, iron. Uh, they do give um, robes. I assume they give slippers, I have to ask, probably upon request. A lot of places do that. And this is something that I'm gonna use later and put my um, suitcase on. And then on this side, they have additional shelving and drawers galore. I don't need that much. I do like that they're safe. It's cold and it's at a nice height and you can plug something in while it's in the safe. So for example, your iPad out of juice or your phone out of juice, you can sit and juice it up while it's still in the safe. Smart idea. Uh, this is their little, um, ice bar, I mean, coffee bar, I mean, uh, some water, um, teas, specialty teas, and then a little coffee maker. Nothing elaborate, very useful. A mirror on this side. Carpeting, not, don't care too much about the carpet. Um, green with brown and with tan. Not the best design I've seen so far, but it does definitely hide dirt. Um, Nice bed, king size bed, views, uh, pictures of Brussels, always nice to look at. Uh, cute little nightstand area to sit in place, additional things with lamps, of course. Um, there's one outlet down here, and I'm looking for more outlets, which I'm going to find real soon. This is, by the way, air conditioning, um, and I guess heat you can control from your own room. Uh, TV, I would assume this is like a 40 incher. And then just of drawers, so more drawers, three. That's more than adequate space when it comes to sitting and um, for two people. This is the place for suitcases and I assume that this would be the mini bar. Okay, so they have a place that you can put your own stuff and Oh no, you know what? It's empty. So you can put your own stuff, period. Which is a good thing. Especially for families. Uh, nice desk. Uh, ergonomic chair. And more outlets. 
next to the desk, which is always a great idea, and of course a lamp. And then a little sitting area here, not huge, but useful. Armchair, ottoman, technically two people can sit, three people if you count the desk chair, uh, a phone, and uh, more lamps. So there's a lot of light. In general, there's a lot of light. The room is well lit. Uh, the room is comfortable. It has the bed, it has the desk, it has the sitting area, it has the TV viewing area, it's a large closet. Wonderful. I asked for a quiet room, so that's why they gave me here a quiet room. Not much of a view, but quiet. Let me just make sure that this window does not open. Oh, smart. See? Does not really open, so kids cannot climb and, and get out. It's a rainy day today in Brussels. Go figure. I come to Brussels in the middle of the summer and this happens, but as I was told today, Brussels is a bit unpredictable when it comes to weather. So this is my room at the Marriott Brussels and it looks very comfortable, very cozy. Not large, but hits the spot exactly what one or two people need. Now the question is for families, they probably do have connecting rooms. I will ask the PR. They also have a very cute executive lounge that I'm going to review and show you. And they're in the center of town in the Grand Square. This is Marguerite Frankes for Autistic. And I'm here at the Marriott Brussels and um, I am going to show you the breakfast buffet which is very nice. And uh, we start, they have Hendrix gin which they like, they make a lot of gin and tonics here. So, um, especially uh, the one with the cucumber, um, I happens to be my favorite. Now, in case you're wondering what this piece of wall here is, I'm not sure it's the original, or it might be, or the replica. They found, just next to the hotel, they found some Roman um, an antiquities and buildings un when they were digging under underground. And that's why they um, have that here, because it's close to the hotel. Now, we will start with hay. It's Belgium, right? So we will start with do-it-yourself waffle with instructions. So that's, you know, in Belgium, you've got to be Belgian. So uh, this is the dough here. And then it says fill in the dough machine. Uh, turn on the watt stick 180 degrees. Timer should start running. You will hear a beeping sound. The waffles will be ready. Then they have the eggs. This you can make your you can order your own omelet. They have boiled eggs. They've got scrambled eggs. They've got sauteed mushrooms and potatoes. They've got pork and sausage. So first this pork and sausage and the bacon. They've got yogurts, a series of yogurts. Now the omelet station, classic ham and aged cheddar, egg whites with spinach and onions and mushrooms and tomatoes. Or you can build your own. You can ask for spinach, gouda, sweet peppers, bacon, aged cheddar. Now I'm going to turn you to the cereal area. Pretty ordinary um, different cereals. You can mix your own cereals and grains. What's nice is that you can put a lot of dried fruits. I see quite a bit of dried fruits in here and nuts. Always nice. They have three types of milk, um, skim, whole, and semi-skim. I wonder what that is. Probably, I would say, 2%. Juices, cranberry juice, grapefruit juice, multivitamin, and orange juice, and of course sparkling water and regular water. And then we'll do the bakeries and I will leave the best for last. Um, they have muffins, fresh muffins, croissants, different croissants and danishes, but um, chocolate croissant and the regular croissant, jams, apricot, red fruit, um, rhubarb, plum, apple compote, strawberry, and honey, of course. Their breads are very good, um, the baguettes and the rolls, and of course, butter and Nutella. And now I'm going to approach my favorite area. They have smoked mackerel, chorizo, excellent, I tasted it, cooked ham, salami, chicken breast, turkey breast. The turkey looks interesting. They're putting some herbs in there. Gouda cheese, 
Mardisu cheese and uh, Belgian br um, cheeses and brie's. So this is nice. This is very nice. Their cold cut area is scrumptious. Of course, they also have fruits, including the apricots and kiwis, and then cut up fruit, um, grapefruit and kiwi, and um, watermelon, and oranges and pineapple, um, cucumbers, tomatoes, and of course, a little a couple of aquatremants, you know, uh, capers, and um, onions, and um, olives. So this is very nice buffet here um, at the Marriott. It is included for gold members um, as part of the room. If you're not a gold member, then you get to pay for it uh, somewhere around the 20, I think, or 25 euros. And then... Um, you can enjoy this and if you're a gold member they throw this in and you can also have access to the executive lounge. This is Marguerite Frankis from the Brussels.